Today we are going to cover one of my major pet peeves, false advertising. I was alerted to a sales post last week that really irked me. Normally, it doesn't bother me just because this sort of thing happens within the bullion world, but I'm wondering if, if we can do better. And I thought I would highlight some of the things that I have seen over the years so that you would know what to look out for. Coming up. Hey everyone, welcome to Campbell's Coins. I wanted to thank Charlie Mac Brooklyn for bringing this to my attention. You can find him on Instagram and via his YouTube channel. He reviews really nice coins. He interviews people from the community and you should really check him out. I've linked him down in the description below. He showed off this false advertising on Atmex. I know you're like, shocker, Atmex is, something, is doing something wrong. Atmex was having a sale on MS69 random year silver eagles for $44. No big deal, right? Except the image that they put up was the 9-11 World Trade Center Ground Zero label silver eagle slab. If you check out eBay comps, and yeah, guys, I know, this isn't the end-all be-all for value, but it gives an audience an idea of the price. You'll see that the 2001 Silver Eagles with this label sell for around $300 in Mint State 69. It's shady to put up an image of a coin that is valued way more than the ones you're actually selling. It's great marketing because it establishes this subconscious thought, I could possibly get a 911 Eagle for $44. And this is not the only example with Atmex. And they are not the only company who does this. Let's look at SD Bullion. How many of you use a coupon code with SD Bullion? Well, here are some of their false advertising examples. Let's look at this first example from SD Bullion. We have some $20 Liberty Double Eagle Gold Coins, uh, random year, BU, AU, VF Plus, and then cleaned. Uh, what's interesting is the cleaned and the VF Plus are the exact same picture. That's not really my gripe. Um, my gripe here is the random year. So they clearly put it in the description that you're not going to get, you know, a specific year, but they don't block out the date. Why am I bothered by that? Well, just down below in the St. Gaudens, they have one that is actually blocked out with random year. Like these right here, they're all, and I'll pull this up in another picture, but they're all, they all have the date shown. The other thing that bothers me here is for the cleaned and the random year VF plus, they put like an old date. Um, they don't have that for like the 1900 or 1904. They put like an older date. So it's that subconscious thought of, oh, maybe I'm gonna get like an old coin, you know? old crusty coin and or a low uh, low grade so it must have been worn so it must be old you know that kind of thought there and I, I swear to god i'm not picking on sd bullion in particular when i was checking out all these different bullion dealers they just had a lot of these examples up that i'm like jesus they're they're the worst offender i found here is a ten dollar indian eagle coin uh cleaned right okay um what's the problem here well first of all this is not a cleaned coin <laughs> and the other problem i have here is they put uh, 1933 they use the coin of 1933 why is that a big deal so if you look at uh, pcgs's website you can see that they had a little over 300,000 mintage for the 10 dollar eagle in 1933. Mm, the problem is that the image that they're showing is not cleaned. The other problem is for 1933, there are about 30 to 40 known examples of this coin left. The reason being is that most of these coins were melted down in the great uh, purge that had happened in the 1930s, specifically 1933, 1934. So if you were to get a cleaned version, you can see like here is a, uh, <laughs> 
MS62 going for 225,000. This is what PCGS values it at. So it's again with that subconscious thought, oh, I could get this really rare coin as a cleaned coin for this low price. Now I understand that this is currently out of stock and maybe they just haven't updated their picture yet, but this was in stock for many years and they've had this picture up for many years. This isn't something that just happened over one weekend like the Atmex coin. Okay, um, here are some $5 liberties. We can see that um, the AU and the BU are virtually identical. I wouldn't be surprised if this is, I mean, this is the same picture. Um, over here, the cleaned jewelry, this almost looks like a proof coin. It's very sharp. <laughs> so it, uh, a, a cleaned coin would more, look more like this. So it's just that, that false advertising. And then again, VF plus, which is a really, it's not, it's just very fine. Um, it's going to be, it's going to look like this, but here's what the association 1845. You know, they're, they're giving you that association of, oh, here's an old coin. It's going to be in like really cruddy shape, but you could get a really old coin. These older coins are way more expensive than the $572 they're charging for this coin. And I would just hope that, see, SD Bullion did it for their St. Gaudens. If it's a random year, just put random year across the board here. That way, you know, keep the pictures of the coins consistent. Keep the random year thing consistent. Here we are back to the St. Gaudens. So the AU coin in this picture and the VF plus coin, that's the exact same coin. So it's just, it's misleading. Funny enough, as you saw like in the first picture with the, the Liberties, it actually is like the only coin that has random year on it instead of just like showing the date. And then finally, um, we're gonna move to some silver. Uh, and I actually looked at numerous websites and they were all very consistent and showed the correct picture. So in the video here in front of you, you can see kind of like a really old walking Liberty. It's got some wear and tear. You know, this coin has been around the block and that's what a lot of constitutional silver looks like. There's a lot of good stuff out there. A lot of AU coins, a lot of BU coins, but for the most part, they're going to look like the constitutional silver you see in front of you. And that is why it's called junk silver with a lot of people because it just looks junky. What bothers me is, um, I just went to their quarters. I didn't check out anything else, but, um, I, th I think the reason why I did a picture of the quarters is just because everything else was somewhat similar. If you look here, um, they say random design, random design, but they show like a, BU, which is Brilliant Uncirculated Washington. The coins that you're gonna be getting, they're not gonna look like this, this really nice looking Washington. They're gonna look more like the Walking Liberty on this end where they're just like really worn, faded, used. And then over here where they have uh, the AU and Uncirculated Washingtons, I know they're out of stock. These are pictures, these are proof coins. So the, the coin is like, really, really sharp, really shiny. Uh, that's just extremely misleading because yeah, you could get coins that look like that, but are the majority of those coins going to look like proofs? No, they're going to probably look more like this coin here, uh, or the BU over here. So I checked two other bullion dealers, websites, JM bullion and monument metals. I found that their pictures and descriptions to pretty much match up and I applaud them for their honesty and integrity on this front. Um, I, like I said, I'm not attacking any company in particular. The worst offender that I saw was SD bullion. And I know this whole video started out with a, I'm not going to say an error because Atmex clearly did this on purpose. MS 69 Eagles are not, very popular and so in order to get them to go out the door they're putting a picture of a much higher price coin in there getting people to think oh I could get this and maybe Atmex gets away with it because they will send out one of them in a slew that they send out are just regular slabs regular uh, labels they don't have that like 9-11 connection with them 
maybe they can get away with that. I don't know. Um, but when you look at Amex's website, they also have a lot of, everything's labeled random here. All the dates are pretty much covered up. Um, like I said, it's not the only example I've got for Atmex, but it's the only example I have to show you. I have seen Atmex misadvertise things um, on numerous occasions over the last few years. And it's just like stuff that you're not going to screenshot at the moment just because you're like, oh, well, they did this. Wow. But it's stuff that, that does happen. And so I just want people to, to be aware that it is out there and that it does happen. And full disclosure, I have spent thousands to tens of thousands with with each of these companies and have been really satisfied with the products and their customer service. Uh, yes, even Atmex. Do they charge more than everyone else? Yes, but they also have the largest variety out there of all bullion dealers. And there is some security with purchasing from them and that you can buy with confidence knowing that you won't receive any fakes. When I told my girlfriend that I was doing this video on this topic, her immediate reaction was, oh, I really like Atmex. Incredulously, I said, you, you do? And she said, yes, they have phenomenal customer service. And that reminded me of what had happened to us a couple years ago. My girlfriend buys Morgans for me for my birthday and for Christmas. And she ordered some and the post office tracking shows that it was delivered to her mailbox, but she didn't get it. At that time, we were living in the same neighborhood in different houses, but we shared a community mailbox with like 12 other people for our street. So she ordered with her name and address, but the post office delivered it to my mailbox. Talk about the odds, right? Not only does it get delivered to a mailbox that we can actually check on, but it was the gift that she was giving to me. I've never had anything sent to that mailbox, so I never check it. But before we found it, she was on the phone with Atmex and told them that the tracking shows that it was delivered, but she still didn't receive it. Atmex didn't call her a liar. They simply said, wait a few days, and if it doesn't turn up, we will send you out another one. That is really good customer service. Getting back to the point of this video, I'm sure that there's other people will list some issues that they have found with these dealers down in the comments. These were just some things that I found and I just think that this type of marketing is shady and these bullion dealers can do better. I wanted to post this video right now because I know these dealers will have lots of Black Friday sales and deals during the holidays and if you're buying coins and, and or bullion online, really pay attention to the description and the photos before making your purchase. If you're interested, check out the other videos I have on my channel discussing the rarity of these metals and how they can help you preserve and protect your wealth. If you made it this far in the video, you guys and gals are my super stackers and collectors, and I really appreciate you. Thank you all for watching. This is Campbell's Coins, and that is my two cents.